I don't know, Nick. The Starburst maneuver is banned for a reason. Pulling it off would make us legends. <laughs> You're already a legend. I think it's really exciting the way Mike McMahon weaves previous Star Trek characters into our episodes. It just feels like little presents that we get to like wrap up and give to the fans. Being part of the legacy of Star Trek has been the greatest joy. As much as we're in favor of joining the Federation, the Grand Nagus can't sign with a bunch of suckers and rubes. I've always loved this role. I was originally up for the role of a Bajoran Dabo girl, which was the role of Marta. And then I heard that they wrote the role of Lita for me. She's got this heart of gold, but she's fun and she's no pushover. We're not going back to work until this is settled. Just the fact that Lita is with Rom and to stand by Nog with all he's gone through, for Lita to become the mother of a boy who went off to war is so not a Dabo girl. And I think it's the most Star Trek message that we are so much more than we seem. I'm the former Dabo girl running the show, and what is better than that? We'll start on page 11, subsection B, incentivization visa V the great Ferengi people and our reluctant acceptance of your federation. She means bribes. I can't believe where the show has taken us. I love it. Quick, lackeys, carry me to the shuttle. I saw the premiere of the original Star Trek when I was a young teenager, and uh, it had a verve about it, kind of energy and uh, leaning forward into the material from the, from the actors, and it, it's contagious. And I've tried to bring that kind of spirit and tone to every character that I've done in the Star Trek universe. You are an incredible thespian. Oh, he's that guy? Wait a minute. He's that guy over there too? I never knew that. That's the best for me, when people don't know that I'm Shran and Wayun and Brunt and Agamus. We have to find Locarno. Who? Mr. Locarno was drummed out of the academy for getting another student killed during a prohibited flight maneuver. You know, a lot of people thought Tom Paris was Nick Locarno. You know, they still think that. They're identical. No, I just don't see it. As I understand it, the producers, they loved that episode. And they talked about bringing Nick Locarno on to Deep Space Nine. Are we ready for that? They decided not to, it didn't quite fit. And so I think the studio decided for Voyager that, hey, let's bring back sort of Nick Locarno, but let's call him a new name. Fans would ask me like, oh, are you playing a version of Nick Locarno? And my answer was absolutely not. Tom Paris would never have been the big bad in this episode. It's not possible. Nick, what the hell are you doing here? When Mike called me and then he said, I have this idea, but I don't want to write it unless you're interested. And he sort of pitched me out this whole season arc of this mysterious bad guy coming around now to do Nick Locarno again and voice such a clearly evil character in this Lower Decks version was so much fun. How do I look? Confident, but you know, like in a creepy way. Perfect. I think the fans are gonna love it. I hope they do. I had a blast doing it. My favorite memories of Star Trek, my time on Voyager in those years are the people. The uh, ensemble aspect of it, the camaraderie. As much fun as the show was and still is, it's the moments with the fans. There's nothing else quite like Star Trek in terms of its history and Lower Decks is definitely one of my favorite new versions because you can tell any story you want. You can go anywhere in the world you want, do anything you want. I think it's just so clever. Whatever, who cares? Lower Decks can have you like laughing and crying in the same five minutes. It's so beautifully full.